Lab View Relay Fan Power Supply Lab. There's the Lab View switch that starts the fan. Now, a closer examination. It's a Lab View terminal block with a hundred wires. There's the read relay. Current from Lab View to the relay. Lab View voltage applied to the relay coil. There's the fan. Power supply for the fan. The virtual switch in Lab View is currently off. No current yet to the fan. Lab View switch is turned on. During startup, current to the fan is limited to 500 milliamps. The current limit light is on. Lab View voltage is 4.49 volts. Lab View current is 4.48 milliamps. After startup and during steady state, Lab View switch is still on. Current to the fan falls to 442 milliamps. Current limit light is off. Lab View voltage is 4.49 volts. Lab View current is 4.5 milliamps to the coil. Lab View output was 4.5 volts DC, resulting in 4.5 milliamps to the relay coil. Fan startup current was limited to 500 milliamps to protect the relay coil. Fan steady state current was 442 milliamps at 10 volts DC. Here's a block diagram summarizing the system. There's the low power controller, the higher power load, the fan, and the relay interface between the low power controller and the higher power load. There's no sensor in this example. Other possible computers include PLC, Arduino, Raspberry Pi, and others. Now, a LabVIEW program using LabVIEW 2014. Close this welcome window. Open a new VI. This blank VI has a front panel and a block diagram. Tile up and down to see them both at the same time. Block diagram contains the main part of the computer program. The front panel contains the virtual human interface components. Put a virtual switch on the front panel. Right click on the front panel and select Classic, select Boolean, select classic virtual switch. Put the switch on the front panel, change its name, notice an icon on the block diagram with the same name. Right clicking on the block diagram opens the functions palette. Select measurements I.O. Select NI DAC MX. Select DAC assistant. Put the DAC assistant on the block diagram Select Generate Signals, Analog Output, and Voltage. Select AO0, which is Analog Output Channel 0. Insert 4.5 volts max and 0 volts minimum. Select Reference Single Ended. Select One Sample On Demand. And then click OK. Move the fan switch icon to the left. Right click on the block diagram to get the functions palette. Select comparisons sub palette. Select the select icon and place it on the block diagram. Draw two wires as shown. This cursor will automatically turn into a wiring tool when pointing at a wire terminal. Green wires carry Boolean numbers. Orange wires carry 64-bit real numbers. This is a digital program that manipulates numbers. Move the cursor slowly over the select icon to expose the wire terminals. Right-click on each wire terminal and create two constant inputs. Make the upper input 4.5. Right-click on the block diagram to select the functions palette, select structures, select while loop, and place it around all the icons. 
click in the upper left, and then drag it to the lower right. Right click on the wiring tool on the loop condition, and then select Create Control. A virtual push button switch was automatically inserted on the front panel. Both icons on the front panel were resized. The cursor turns into a finger so that the left mouse can toggle the switches. The VI is run by pressing the run arrow. The VI is stopped by pressing the stop switch. To know more about any object on the VI, press the Context Help button, and then move the cursor over the object. 